In this video I'm going to show you how to register for and use Skype. And the first thing to do is to come here to the website skype.com. It'll detect where you are logging in from and redirect you to the local page uh, for your particular country so it's all in the same language and so on. And then click here where it says get Skype or just hold your mouse over it. And you'll see the options that you have, the different platforms that you can install Skype on. You can have it on computer, on your mobile phone, or on your TV, and also the different operating systems that you can have. I have a Windows computer. I'm running Windows XP, so I'm going to click here on Windows. It takes me through to this page here where I can download the Skype software. It also gives me some information about Skype Premium, which has some extra features. I don't actually want that, I just want the basic Skype. So click here to download Skype. And it takes a few moments, and there we go. And I'm just going to save this file onto my computer's hard drive. And then when it's saved, I'm going to open it. There we go, that's done. So now I'm going to click here on Skype Setup, and I'll click OK for that, and just going to click on Run, and here we have the Skype install setup. And you need to read and agree to the end user license agreement and privacy agreement. I've already read them previously, so I'm going to go ahead and agree and install. And you can also select your language. I'm going to keep this on English and click on I agree install. It gives you all this information about having Google Chrome. I actually don't want Chrome, so I'm going to uh, uncheck all this and then continue installing Skype and then it just simply goes through the system um, as you can see it does take a few minutes to install depending on your uh, download speed so rather than have you sit through all this I'm just going to pause the video for a moment and there we go Skype is now installed so I just need to close this and then it will have installed Skype on my desktop I just need to open it click on the start button see new programs installed there we go and Skype is now signing in and you can't see it because it's just off the um, picture here but it's also installed a Skype icon down here on my computer okay the next thing I need to do is to create a new Skype account which I can do on this pop-up window here so I need to fill in my name and email address and also to create a Skype name so I'll just do that now then you want to read the end user license agreement terms of service and the privacy statement if you're happy with that you click on here I agree create account it'll check to make sure that the Skype name is available which uh, can take a few seconds and it says here sorry the Skype name you've entered is already taken so you can enter a new Skype name or choose one of these suggestions so I'm gonna go with one of their suggestions and just click here to create the account and that's it my Skype account is set up what I need to do now is to check that it's working properly I do that by clicking on here the echo sound test service so I'll just double click on that and then click on the call icon Okay, just testing to make sure my new Skype setup is working properly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, just testing to make sure my new Skype setup is working properly. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
And there you go, that's all done. So I'm just going to shut that now. And the final thing to do is to set up my Skype profile by entering my country and region. And there we go. You can enter a mobile phone number if you want, um, and the contacts can see it. I'd rather they didn't see that, so I'm going to leave that blank. And I'm going to leave this box ticked here, so sign me in when Skype starts. So every time I start up my computer, Skype will automatically be loaded in the background and it'll automatically sign me into this Skype account every time Skype starts. So it uh, completely automates the process. And simply click on OK. And there we are, it's done and you can then go through some of the tutorials that they have showing you how to make calls, how to find friends and import contacts and so on and there we are that's how you set up Skype